Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to a new video and today we're going to be taking a look at the Windows Vienna Ultimate Extras. So I have a web page here open so I can download them. So basically if you want to skip this entire process of going on the download site which I don't like particularly and I'm going to be replacing it with something better at some point. So yeah if you want to not use the download site simply just go onto my channel and just click this archive.org link here and it should have everything, well not everything yet, yeah, I'm currently moving all my stuff to archive.org. I've currently moved Windows Vienna over to here as well because people seem to prefer archive.org to using my site which I can't blame you all to be fair because my site's pretty bad. But anyway, I digress. What we're going to do here is install the Windows Vienna Ultimate Extras which I'm, I think I've already downloaded, let me just check real quick. It should be in my downloads folder which I have right here. Nope, I haven't. So what I'm going to do right now is download these Ultimate Extras here and it should be here look, it should be a zip file, here we are look. So we're just going to download this and I'll be right back once it's completed downloading. Alright so here we have the file downloaded, what we're going to want to do is simply just extract it. So there we go, it's extracting at the moment and hopefully it won't take too long. Since this is a VM the speeds are going to be slightly slower than what they are on my PC because my PC speeds are much faster than this. So let me just expect I gave this VM. Let me see how much RAM. Yeah, I've only, I think I've only, yeah, I've only put two gigs of RAM in this, so it's not really gonna be the fastest VM ever. So yeah, here we have the ultimate extras right here. So once you've extracted those, you just wanna go into this folder and run the Altex batch file right here. Run it as administrator, click OK and then type yes if you want to install it and then after that just hit enter. As you can see it's installing all the ultimate extras packages and all that. And yeah there's quite a lot of stuff here. It's currently copying over the dream scenes. And there we go it's now installed and as you've noticed you can see this stuff on the desktop. So yeah here we are look. Here's just a small little document telling you what's been added. And for, for Dream Scene, all you have to do is just click on this Dream Scene Activator folder, go into Stage 1, run this as Administrator, and just wait for it to load. And then just click here, and it should enable the Dream Scenes. Yeah, just wait until that says on. There we go. Now that's done. And now we're going to want to go into Stage 2, and you're going to want to run this batch file right here. Well, a command script, not a batch file. And yeah, once you open that, just open this. And that will change the icon from the Vista to the Vienna icon. And once you've done that, just restart your computer. And yeah, that's it. You've installed the Windows Vienna Ultimate Extras, and I'll be back once the computer has started back up. Alright, so here we are. The computer's booted back up. So now that we've done that, we're going to want to go to the Dream Scenes folder and simply just select one of these as your Dream Scene. So let me just, actually no, I'm going to set this one as my Dream Scene actually. And here we go, here's one of the few Windows Vienna Dream Scenes we have. I've made this one quite recently and I've got to say, this one's probably the best Dream Scene I've ever made. And once you've gone in that shortcut and enabled a Dream Scene, theoretically you should get there you go, look, you should get a Windows Dream Scene content entry here, look, so once you've done that, simply just literally delete everything here, get rid of all that, and there you go. So if you want to enable Dream Scenes, which there are a fair few actually, there's this one, this one, this one, there's a lot of them, and I've also updated this one as well, which looks far better, so yeah. There's a fair few dream scenes here actually, and I've also updated the Windows XP Vienna Hill thing. I don't know why I made this, but here's a much better version of the previous one. The previous one looked kind of rubbish in my opinion, so I thought I would remaster it, and the remastered version, I gotta say, looks quite a bit better. So yeah, and here's like the stream dream scene I've made here, look, well, I filmed this actually quite a long time ago, so it's been here a while. So let me just have a look at the Ultimate Extras wallpapers. Let me just have a look here. So yeah, here are the Ultimate Extras wallpapers. It's, it's installed quite a few. And yeah, as you can see, there's here's the old nature pack, which I made a long time ago, back in 2019 or something like that. So yeah, I've also, yeah, as you can see, as you remember, I discontinued Windows Scenic and it now lives on as a Vienna theme. It's an Ultimate Extras theme. 
And as you can see here, look, all the wallpapers from Scenic, and I mean every last one of them is here, which is good for those of you who like it. Because to be fair, I did, I, like I said, like I said before, Windows Scenic is kind of pointless. It's literally just Windows Vienna in a slightly different shade of purple. That's literally all it is. That's probably why it was so unpopular in the first place. So yeah, here's um. Now these are the wallpapers I I really like. Hold on, let me just. There we go. For some weird reason, Dream Scene kind of freaks out sometimes. I don't know why. But anyway, let me find those Windows Vienna Ultimate wallpapers. Here we go. Look. I gotta say, I do like these wallpapers I've made here. Let me just. Yeah, look. These are basically the Windows Vista wallpapers, but rebranded as Windows Vienna ones. And I've got to say, I've done a pretty good job here. As you can see, the Windows Vienna logo glows just like the Windows Vista one. And yeah, I think I've done a fairly good job. As you can see, like, errors or anything, there's no, like, marks of where it's been edited. I think, I think I've done an excellent job on these wallpapers, especially this one. I really like this one. And there's ones in multiple different resolutions to suit your monitor, depending on the aspect ratio, the resolution and all that. So yeah, I'm going to stick with this wallpaper for now, because I particularly like this one. But anyway, for those of you who want to check out the Ultimate Extras, you know, have a look at the wallpapers for yourself. And yeah, so now I'm going to move on to the themes. Just go to theme here, look. And there's... Right, Windows Longhorn M6. The previous theme was a Longhorn theme, but it, wa it wasn't very good. And here's a much, much better Longhorn theme I found. So yeah, it's looking much better. There's no weird squashed up bits. However, there's still that close, that back button there still looks a bit odd, but it's still better than the previous one. And I mean much better. So yeah, there's that. There's the Longhorn theme. And it's also got XP sounds as well because Windows Longhorn had XP sounds and the sounds, the alleged sound scheme of Windows Longhorn is actually a, a Samsung theme for Windows XP or something. What other Ultimate Extras theme do we have at the moment? Ah oh, yes, Scenic, that's right. For those of you who remember Windows Scenic or like Windows Scenic, simply just download the Ultimate Extras and you've literally, you've literally got Windows Scenic on your computer all over again, like seriously. Let me show you. So if you have a look at the icons and everything, as you can see, the icons literally suit Scenic perfectly because that's how similar it was from Windows Vienna. That's why I discontinued it. And now for the Windows XP theme, which I've already covered in the past, I think. So let me just show you a dream scene I've included. It's a Bliss dream scene. And there you go. So here's a Windows XP theme for Vienna. And it literally just, it looks pretty like, to be fair. So let me just show you the new gadgets I've included. So here's like a quick launch gadget, which I thought could be useful and you can customize it and everything as you can see for those of you who want to use that and I've also introduced a image carousel gadget I don't know why but you know I thought I thought it'd be fun to use and all that so what other gadgets have we got here let me just close this one I've also got a bubble wrap gadget as some si silly little game or something should make sounds hold on yeah, here we go it makes the Windows XP balloon sound when you pop the bubbles and you can also change the color I'm gonna change it to teal as you can see a look it's just a silly little game it, it's, it's not, it doesn't really have a purpose, it's kind of useless, but I thought it a nice to have kind of thing. So yeah, there, there's some new gadgets and all that. Ah oh yes, the screensavers, let's have a look at the screensavers. So, if we, so let me just show you the screensavers that have been added in the Ultimate Extras pack. So yeah, you've got 3D pipes. Let's wait for it to look, wait, I selected none for some reason, I meant 3D pipes, there we go. So here you go, look, you've got the 3D pipes screensaver from Windows XP. And you've also got the, you've also got a one called Flux, which I think's, oh, sorry about that. As you can see here, look, there's a screensaver called Flux, which I quite like. And there's also a flying Windows XP flag. This was made possible by using a hex editor, because as you can see, the Windows logo on this screensaver is actually not an image, but it's a character from a font family called Marlet. And there's a Windows XP logo in there. So what I did is I took a hex editor and changed the value, which was the original Windows 98 logo, which was Wingdings. And I changed the value and the font from Wingdings to Marlet and the, f and the character value for the Windows XP logo, which is how I changed it. So yeah, there's that one. And I've also got a Windows Longhorn screensaver as well. I managed to find this. So yeah, I think I, think I found some of these on screensaverplanet.org or something. I can't really remember the name of the website. But I think it was that, don't quote me on that. So yeah, I've also got a smiley face one as well. I didn't just make make it a Windows XP one, I thought I would make a smiley face one as well, because <laughs> why not? 
So yeah, that's the Windows Vienna Autumn Extras. So if you want to see them, I've got a link in the description for them. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video and goodbye.